Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we are going to be going over some of the best features of Windows 10 inking. Now, inking is a feature that's built into Windows 10 that allows you to write directly on your device's screen much like you would on a regular piece of paper. You can write handwritten sticky notes, you can draw on a virtual whiteboard, or you can save and share handwritten notes. Inking has also been incorporated into some applications that you're probably already familiar with, such as Microsoft Edge, Maps, and Microsoft Office. We can go into detail about all of those applications in just a few minutes, but first I wanted to take some time to go over the settings option because that's really going to influence how inking works for you. All right, so first I am going to go down to the start menu, go into my settings, devices, and select the pen and Windows ink options. So the first setting is pretty easy. It just asks, are you left-handed or are you right-handed? I am right-handed, so I'll just keep it as that. So the show cursor option, as you can see when I'm very close to this screen, it will show a little cursor. It helps me determine where exactly I'm going to be touching the screen. So I like to keep that on. If you don't enjoy that, you can always go ahead and turn that off. And as you can see, you no longer see the cursor. So I just personally like to keep it on. Ignore touch input when I'm using my pen. This is a very important feature. So kind of going back to the cursor icon, um, when it detects that my pen is close to the screen, it's actually going to turn off any other touch inputs that may happen. So if my palm were to hit, the screen, if my fingers were to hit the screen while I'm trying to write, it's going to ignore those, which makes it really easy to write. So the handwriting panel is having it on. Basically, if I wanted to type something, it would come up as a hand um, written note instead of having my keyboard because as you can see I don't have my keyboard attached so that's a really handy feature maybe you don't like having your keyboard attached or you have it flipped back into a different mode so that's a handy thing to have on I mean it's kind of here or there whatever your preference is so scrolling down to the pen shortcuts area basically this is all determined by what kind of pen you are using. So the one on the screen is showing something like the Surface Pen, which has the button on the end that you can customize. Whether you click it once or click it twice, it'll open up different applications accordingly. I am using the Lenovo Active 2 pen, which does not have a button on the end, so um, doesn't really work for me. <laughs> but if you have something like the Surface Pen, it would definitely come in handy. One of my most used applications in Windows 10 inking is the sticky notes application. So it's much more than just being able to write on the screen and it looks like a sticky note. No, you can actually write in an address and it'll give you directions. You can set reminders that link to your Outlook and Cortana accounts. You can even track flight numbers with it. It's a really cool multi-purpose application. To get to sticky notes, you can just come down to the bottom right hand toolbar and you'll see a little pen icon. If you click on that, it'll bring up all of the different options that you can use inking with. But we're just going to start with sticky notes. This is usually where I set all of my reminders. For instance, every Friday morning I have a conference call for work. Let's say that I need to set a reminder. Team call. Friday. 8 a.m. As you can see, it actually highlighted um, Friday 8 a.m. in red. And when I click on that, it asks if I want to set a reminder. So if I go ahead and set a reminder, it will link me to my Cortana account or to my Outlook account, and I can set a reminder that will pop up. So that's a really great feature. I mean, especially if my boss calls me and says, hey, you need to be on this call at 8 a.m., I can quickly just jot that down, and it links to my account. Another cool feature of Sticky Notes is how it interacts with other applications like Maps. If someone gives me an address or I know an address and I just need directions, I can go ahead and type it onto a sticky note, or write it rather. So let's go to 1313 Disneyland Drive in Anaheim, 
California 92802. So you see that it's highlighted in red and it will go ahead and give me directions. So that's a really great feature, especially if you're on the phone with someone and they quickly want to give you directions and you need to know how to get there, you can just scribble them on here and it'll give you directions. Tracking flights is also really easy in sticky notes. Say that I have an upcoming flight. A, A, two, five, three. You see it's highlighted in red, and it'll bring up exactly what time I'm leaving, what time I get to the location, and if there are any flight delays. So that's a really easy way to keep track of flights or upcoming reservations or anything like that. You can also use this application for phone numbers. Because I'm going on my flight, I need to have my dogs go to the doggo doggy hotel. So. I can jot down their number here. 253-555-5567. And you'll see that it does pop up in red and it asks if I would like to call them. Now that'll link to your Skype account. So if you use Office 365, you do get 60 minutes of free Skype every month, which you can utilize that function for. This next application is called Sketchpad. Now, if you are an artist or you love to draw, you will absolutely love this application. Now, I am not, so as you can see, I am quite beautifully tracing someone else's drawing. But um, depending on the type of pen that you use, you can get really great pressure sensitivity. I think this pen has 4,000 different levels of pressure sensitivity. So once again, if you're an artist, you will really love this application. Screen Sketch allows you to take a snapshot of your screen and then add your own edits over it. When I saw little Nico's face on the Humane Society's website, I just had to let everyone know of my love for him. From here, you can send your edits to others or you can simply share it on social media for everyone to see. If you are into interior design, you're really gonna love this next application. So I took a before picture of the area above my bed and it's kind of bland, kind of boring. So I opened it up in the photos application and I used my pen to add in some picture frames, some little trinket boxes, twinkle lights on the side, and look how much cuter it looks, it's so cute. So if you are an interior designer or you're just looking to revamp a room, you can always take a picture, kind of style it up in your own style first and see how it's gonna look. Now let's explore a few of the features of the Maps application. So there are so many features built into this application. One being simply getting directions. So I can draw a line from point A to point B and it will give me directions how, on how to get there. It will even give me different routing options depending on the traffic. I can also draw my own route and see exactly how long it is. So let's say that I'm training for a marathon and I'm routing out my run for each day. I can just draw it on here and it will give me the exact distance that I will be running. That is a very long run. Maybe I'll work up to that one. Now let's say that I'm training a new hire for work and I'm showing them the territory that they are going to be covering. So I can use the ruler feature to draw a nice straight line and outline exactly what the territory is that they will be responsible for. As you can see, it will also pop up with distances on each side. You can also use inking in Microsoft Edge. I came across this really great article that I found very interesting. I put it in reading view to get rid of all of the extra ads and pictures on the side and just focus on the article. From here, I can select my ink options. I selected the highlighter so that I can go through and highlight the most important parts of the article. This is a really great feature for students if you are collecting information for a research paper, or perhaps you are a teacher. If your students submit their papers online, you can use inking to write corrections or give advice directly on the screen. Once I'm done collecting my information, I'm going to save this entire article. So I'm just going to copy and paste it directly into Word 
so that when I'm creating my Works Cited page later, I can reference accordingly. I hope that this video was able to answer some questions about what Windows 10 inking is and some of the capabilities that it offers. If you do have any further questions, please just leave it down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!